Hey y'all, welcome back. My name is Jennifer. Today we have Dior Mono Swatches. Y'all, I am so stoked for this. Stoked? <laughs> Who am I? <laughs> I'm really excited for this video because I love the Dior formula of the quince. So I'm kind of like, are these similar? Are they different? What's the deal with these monos, right? And I mean, they're a little pricey. They're $30 for an eyeshadow. They do come out of the packaging. So he, for example, this is Rosewood. This is the matte shade, really pretty. They do come out, so see, they do pop out and you can, they're almost like a refillable packaging. So that's cool. Nice mirror, all the things, all the things. And, but you know, there's two grams. There's two grams of product in here. Whereas, you know, here is, hold on. <laughs> here is 2-2, for example. This has five shades, and it is seven grams of product, and these retail for $62. So, two grams for 30, seven grams for 62. This one's a little bit more expensive, just saying. But, if you're looking for a specific shade, those one and done eyeshadows, guys, I mean, some of these, I mean, all of them are just really beautiful. Uh, you know, interestingly enough, there's a lot of different textures and finishes. You have a satin, you have a glitter, you have a metallic, and you have a matte, as well as this type of finish, which is a velvet, guys, and that is kind of unique. I, I don't see a lot of velvet finishes for an eyeshadow. Now we have velvet finishes for lipsticks. Beautiful. I love that. But I will tell you that these velvet finishes are a little bit different than a matte and they're they're an interesting eyeshadow. So we're, we'll talk about that today. All right, without further ado, let's get to swatching. Before we get to swatching, I have a little housekeeping keeping. So I did film the swatches, but I filmed them without my mic on. I know, but I didn't want to lose the fo footage of me swatching the eyeshadows. Even though I had the mic off, I did keep the footage. I hope that's okay with you guys. So thank you guys for watching. Let's get to swatching. Thank you. 
for watching y'all. I hope that this video was helpful for y'all. An overview, I think my favorites are the glitters, the metallics, and the satins. I love them, but you know, the mattes are really nice too. Good and creamy, but not too, too creamy. This velvet, right? Super different, very different. Now, as you could see, as I was swatching on the eye with these velvets, it was more of like a, it was a little patchy, I will say, but I wouldn't use these velvets as a one and done shade. I would use it almost as an accent smoke shade. And I would literally, literally, well, literally take a brush and go like this and then smoke it out. Not this brush, hold on. Goodness. So I would literally take a brush, go like this, and then smoke it out. Those velvet shades are the best shades to do something like that. Giving that color a massive punch or impact in the crease and then just softly just blend it out. Gorgeous. Ama beautiful. Now, I think, but to be honest, I feel like that's the case with each one of these finishes. I think there's a time and place for each one. You have the satin for your all over everyday day wear. You can do your pop with the velvet. You can do your matte for all over or in the crease. Uh, the glitter for that pop of shine, that topper in the middle. I mean, there's so many things and so many ways you can wear these. It's all the things, guys. It's all the things. <laughs> Anywho, as I said before, I'm hopeful that this is helpful for y'all, and I really appreciate you guys watching. Don't forget to subscribe if you love it and want to stick around. We'd love to have you here. Don't forget to like and comment. Let me know what which your favorite is down below. I'd love to hear, or if you've tried these before. So, thank you guys again for watching. I'll leave my latest video right here, and I'll see y'all over there. Bye, y'all.